Just gonna have like conveyors over here. Maybe put it over here. What I'm gonna do? Is... Oh, gotta put it back. Put this stuff back into the hot bar first, and then we're gonna put a splitter right over here. Okay, now I know what I'm going to do here. There we go. Or, wait. Have that split two ways. Oh, don't do that. Oh, this is unaligned. feed it into here that we can't do that in a straight line there we go and we just connect the conveyor belts like so this in here you go in here and there we go silica going into the circuit boards that'll slowly fill up and actually I don't know how much silica I'm producing at this point in time gotta be a lot though and we also have plenty of storage, so this will continue for quite some time. But this will produce 12.5 per minute, assuming everything is saturated. So 12.5, uh, uh, 125 plus 25. So like 150 by mass checks out. So, I think we can put this on a single line. We'll just put you over here.
One, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, one, two. Actually, why don't I just put you like right over here? Uh, we'll do it like that. So then we connect this like so. And then we have our circuit boards. This slowly builds up. I am so glad I got that recipe earlier on. Alright, so let's... I'm gonna leave all of this here and then just resupply back at base. Okay, so we got all of these circuit boards here. We just need to build the line back to base and then we'll have the circuit boards in the factory. One last thing, we do need to change this around. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, this goes here. And why did I have to do it like this? Gonna have to remove the hyper tubes now. Is put back the hyper tubes on the hot bar. Did I even go back and check the hyper tubes there? Like I said I was going to do it and then I just like didn't. Probably should just to make sure like everything is working properly. But this is more important at this time. Come on, just get get in there. Two, three. Pick up spots four and five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four and five. Uh, I don't think I need that spot anymore. Oh, 
But while I'm here, can I overclock this? Do I need to overclock it? Actually, I don't. Hyper tubes once again. Okay, I'm going to need more encased industrial beams at this point. One, two, three. three oh jeez you know what let's go back now How's this doing at this point? Oh, look at that. All right. We can upgrade that now that we have space in our inventory. Looks like all of these cables are being used at this point. It's starting to get backed up. Alright, so encased industrial beams over here. And the problem with these encased industrial beams is that it only stacks to 100. I think the aluminum sheets that we need for the MK5s, they stack to like 200. And the MK3s stack to 200 as well, so it's like, this is weird. Like you're gonna need more inventory space just for the MK2s and 4s, but not for the 1-3s and 5s. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna move this up now. One, two, three. There's four. Okay, we're almost there. See, this is the problem with getting it wrong the first time. You just have to take it out and rebuild it. Instead of just adding it in. But if you size it correctly the first time, then it's just so much easier. Missing iron rods, huh? Now we need iron rods. That area over there is a good source of iron rods. I'm just going to jump down like this. Take some damage. The 
But we should have plenty of iron rods here. Unless we don't. Yeah, we don't. Actually, we do. Let's do this. And how many modular frames do we have, like, right now? Oh, speaking of which, you need to take a stack, a couple stacks for myself. All right, let's go back. Anyway, let's continue this. Okay, so one, two, and three. Yeah, we're almost there. We should put the hyper tubes in there right now. One, two, three, four. So once this is all done, then theoretically we should not need uh, to expand circuit boards, like for the rest of his playthrough. Assuming I did everything right and I sized everything correctly, all I need to do is like overclock the miners and we'll get more circuit boards that way. Wait, did I put storage for the circuit boards back over there? You probably don't need it just yet, but it probably should. Just so we can have that buffer ready to go. Two and three. You know, I really like these ladders on the storages, as well as the other buildings. Like, I almost never use them, but when I need to get some extra height, it's like there for me to use, so it is nice. Alright, let's keep this going. One, two... Oh, look at that. Let's go with the same height as before.
Okay, now for the next section here. This going. wonder if they'll implement a tool that will like increase the height of like these things like like so much easier like how I explain like automatically like add some more like conveyors conveyor poles or like hyper tube poles or like pipe poles or stuff like that like automatically Instead of like trying to reconfigure it like the way I'm doing right now. I mean, it sounds like a complicated tool to like implement, but if they can implement that, it would make things so much easier. Because then I can like reconfigure it, spend, and get back resources as needed. If that makes sense. Okay, we're almost there. Just need to get rid of this hyper tube right here. Oh, this thing is really tall. Right, here we go. And we just need to get it in, into the factory. So we're going to have to come up here. Oh, and look at that. It's like the perfect height. This, on the other hand, is not. Just realized that. So let's fix that. You get rid of this as well. I think we're going to have to put some walls here now. That's good enough. So that's connected there, and up top are the circuit boards, which we actually need. Oh, geez. Let's get back up there. You know, probably need to install a hypertube network somewhere around here just so we can have easy access to other parts of this warehouse. Wait, what the hell? There's nothing on this line. One, two, three.
All right, here we go. Here's the computers. So we got screws, we got plastic cables. Now the circuit boards, we can finally start getting this automated. Wait a minute. Yeah, that looks crooked. One. And that looks straight. Okay. Let's bring this over here. Okay, uh, where's the cables? 